Good morning, mm, I Lee. look good. I mean, I really look good. Gina, this isn't a Zoom call, okay? You can't even see them. But they can see us. They. Or wonderful members of the virtual audience who are looking pretty good, too. Okay, Gina. So, you are not an Izuko, okay? We're not in a Zoom call, they can't see you. So, okay, stop it. But they can see us. Come on, Gabby, let's give it up for a warm, appreciated fans. I think Gino has been locked in his room a little bit way too long, right, Gino? Gabby, why are we here? We are here for the first time ever. Tree of Life Variety Show, give it up, everyone! You're correct, Gabriela, you're so smart. I am, I am very smart. And being so smart, I think we should get this show on the road. We have a very packed program tonight, ladies and gentlemen. My game show! Which you are not competing in, by the way. I know, I know, besides, I won the talent show. Uh, and also, this tonight's gala is, gala is called Do You Know As Much As A Sixth Grader? And I am not a sixth grader anymore. And I have to admit, that has me a little bit worried. <laughs> also, we have our own special version of Alice in Crazy Land. I think you got the title wrong. And also, Caso Cerrado COVID Edition. Everything about everything since March has been COVID Edition. Right, right. Um, so, let's get started, shall we? Cue the music. Oops, wrong show, wrong show, wrong show, wrong show. Aww. I mean, that's, that's kind of sad, you know? We, we won't get to do that show until next year. Did you imagine taking classes again in person? Do you imagine, like, doing a show again in person? Did you imagine seeing people face to face? There are people out there. If you're out there, send us a hello. Hello, everyone. What's up? Hi, Jose. Hey, Gata. Hi, friend. There are people out there, Gino. Send us a hello. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. Let, call your friends. Get online because it's time to start. And also, that wasn't my best day. Roll it in, roll it in, roll it in. Welcome, folks, to the ever popular Do You Know As Much As A Sixth Grader? <laughs> when 2020 rolled in, we all thought it was going to be a good year, but it ended up being that it wasn't. Oh. Because we got school at home. Oh. And all, all those fights over why a PlayStation was good or not. Miss, and miss, 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 oh. miss. Wait a second, wait a second. You know, and I know, that I can do TikTok while paying attention to your class. I, I, I obviously know all the things that you have to teach me. I only need TikTok for life. <laughs> Now, please get away from me. Oh. Okay, thank you. Uh, as I was saying, all those fights over why a PlayStation was good and what. Uh, Honey, can you do your dishes, please? Mom, can't you see that I'm in class? Please. Shh, shh, shh. Whatever. There was one good thing about quarantine, and it's that mom and parents also got to learn. So, let's see who did it better. Moms or dads? Now we can hear Ana Maria representing the moms and Alex representing the dads. Woo! So, um, to take our place, to answer that, please? yes, yes please indeed. take a question. Places. To answer that question, ladies and gentlemen, we'll hold me tonight in our presence or first ever moms versus dads. Edition of Do you know as much as a sixth grader? Um, the rules for this competition are each question is worth 200 points. And no cheating. No cheating. No cheating. Oh. I guess there are many rules. Let the contest begin. So, first question for the mom. Mesopotamia means land between two rivers. Between which two rivers is Mesopotamia located? Can I have a, a helper? Yes. What's the helper? Helper. No help. No help. I can help you. Huh? Oh, okay. So give it your give it your best shot. I don't even remember. I 
have no idea. Ah, uh, well, okay, let's move on. You lost that one. For the dad, which ancient society created the oldest known writing system? That was the Chinese. Incorrect. Correct? Correct? No, it was Sumerians. What you said before, they were Chinese, actually. No, lo no. logographic writing oh. system. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay. For the mom, this activity revolutionated human societies. Which one was that activity? I know that. Agriculture. Correct! Yeah. Woo! Woo! But we have two more questions. Are you ready for this? Yes. For the dad, now, how many bones does the human body have? How many volts? Bones. 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 250. Close, but not correct. 250. 260. 260. 206. 206. Yes. That's what I said. <laughs> 260, right? That's cheating. That's cheating. 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 Well, the, the judges, please. <laughs> for the mom. Uh, for the mom, the last one. Um, in which part of the uh, uh, plant cell food is produced? I need a helper. Uh, can you repeat the question? Repeat the question? Um, in which part of the plant cell food is produced? The chloroplast. And that's correct. Folks. And that's it for today, folks. The winner, Ana Maria, the mom. Woo! Okay, so um, that was it for today. Um, see you next time. Did you see what I meant? Um, but Gino, you did great. Wow. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, do you know? Uh, we. Exams are like game shows, don't you think? How so? Because they're full of surprises and the prices are a little overrated. Shh, Gino. Kat Kata went through all the trouble to get us those corporate sponsors. Right, corporate sponsors. Which reminds me that we have a little competition for the rest of you that is sponsored by a brand called Elizabeth. I'll call it out. The giveaway is about that one of you will win your own very personalized gallon of quality sanitizer. Hard on your hands and even harder on the germs, right? I thought you said satanizer for a second, but no, stunning. Yes, so what is next? Who, are there any lucky winners production? So, to win this gallon, I forgot about that because you didn't tell me about it. You had to tell me, okay? So, to win this gallon, you need to tell that Gabby is the best host of the evening. What? Yes. So, who will be the fastest to write it and tell us? Um. Who won it? Production, are there any winners? Alfredo Carvalho is a lucky winner. Congratulations, Alfredo. Yeah. So we will send you this, Alfredo, after the show. Hold on into this, it could save your life. Don't drink it, or apply it internally, please. What? Who would do that? That would be crazy. Alice in Crazyland, crazy. Gino, Alice in Wonderland. Repeat it after me, Alice in Wonderland. It's actually Alice watched the news and went crazy. Which reminds me, but that is our next show. And how did the title even get past Miss Angela? She's still grading her stuff from September. Gino. Um, so this should be pretty fun. Let's get it. Yeah. Let's go. Alice in Wonderland. Have you ever been bored at home? Alice was. She was bored and being stuck at home. Until one day, she found a white rabbit. And she went into an adventure. How can you read a book with no pictures? Big girls read books for big girls.
After that, she fell down, down, down a hole, and then she found herself at the Duchess's house. An invitation from the Queen for a friendly game with her cake. I can't do it. She'll make me croak. She'll fry me with chips. You do it. I couldn't take it. Well, why not? You are the messenger. You take it. Good idea. You take it. Okay, I will take it. Dinner's ready. Just <laughs> going to stop sneezing. Just going to add a little bit more. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, excuse me. There is this invitation for from the Queen to play the Queen. Horace, the Queen. Yes, the Queen. It sounds lovely. After this, Alice decided to go find the Queen. But before this, she found herself with a very peculiar tea table. For you. Yes, there is enough room. Look, isn't it impolite to sit at other people's tea table while uninvited? Agreed. I'm so sorry I didn't know this was your tea table, Matt. But I can... Would you like some juice? Yes, please. There is no juice. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you ask if there's no juice? Why not ask? How rude. Peace. Leaving the tea party, Alice found herself some playing cards, painting some rose bushes, who were terrified of the teacher, uh, I mean, the queen. Are you painting the roses? Shh. She's coming, she's coming! Who is that guilty one? Well, how am I supposed to know, dear? They all look the same from behind. So off with their heads! But they don't have heads since they're part. Or which one is their head? Infractions then! <sighs> Alice never was able to play croquet because the tart thief was caught and she found herself in another peculiar situation in the Queen's Court. Announcement, announcement, announcement! The Queen of Hearts made some tarts all on a summer day. The Knave of Hearts stole those tarts and took them quite away. So, who has the proof? Who did it? He did it. I saw him in the kitchen, eating the wall. You really? have nothing on me. Yeah? Is that jam? No! <laughs> and this is Alice in Wonderland, COVID edition. So it was all a dream? You know what seems like a dream? This whole year. We have been in virtual classes since March 16th. Weeks and weeks and weeks locked in our homes. Nothing to do until TikTok came along. TikTok? Don't you tell me you don't have an account yet, Gino. Even, even Kata has an account. But I gotta keep my data safe. But, but it's so fun. Like, there are dance steps and makeovers and politics and protests. There's everything. Uh, makeovers, let's get back to that. Makeovers, make sure you check out our next segment. We really need you here. We'll be asking for your attention, for your opinion in a moment. Now we need to cut it off so that we can make, so that we can make a makeover on Gina. Production, can you cut it out, please?
Gino! Production with Gino. Please, we need him. The show started. Gino. Oh, there he is. Hi, Gino. Hello. Wow. So, audience, does this look good on Gino? Say it in the comments. <laughs> so, what comes next? So, next we have that you need to check out. You need to tell us if this look if this look go looks good on Gino. And then after that, we come to our last show of the evening, written and directed by Juniors One students Julia and Connor. Everybody knows him, knows them. Let's watch Case Close, COVID edition. over their innocence. Gino, the man being prosecuted, and the prosecutor, Santiago. You are accused of robbery with Santiago as your witness. You were caught red-handed. What's your proof? We know that Gino stole everything because we found every stolen thing in his house. Lies. You don't have proof. I'm trapped. Well, um, let's see the video. That that's fake. They they photoshopped my face on that person. <laughs> But I'm gonna need my proof from that. What was even stolen in the first place? She stole my toilet paper and my rubber ducky. No, that toilet no, paper no, was no, unique. No, and my... Well, we're gonna need another witness. Can you, do you have any more witnesses? Oh yeah, my friend Elizabeth. Elizabeth. She's using the same brand! She's no. not! Oh really my good. god! Do you have any more witnesses? Well, yeah, there are two, but treat them well because they're a little weird. Of course! Bring them here! Oh, okay, uh, Jason and Leo. Yes. I really thought you took all that stuff, you know, with your rubber ducky and everything. No. It hurts me you think that about me on my heart. 
I thought we were friends. We are friends, Gino. Guys, 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 calm down, okay? Gabby, you know, I think Gino is being treated here a little bit like this here. You know, everybody thinks that 2020 is horrible and, and a lost year and, you know, a crappy year. But no, there were a lot of good things about 2020, you know? 2020? This year? The COVID year? The year that we won't speak about in history? Yeah, you know, a lot of great things happened. We became more resilient and more independent. We learned how to work from home. You're right. I guess you're right. You know, I believe that even though a lot of bad things happen, we have to focus on the positive side of life and learn from the mistakes that made us stronger, you know? Yeah, positive. positive. We learned how to socialize with weird backgrounds on Zoom. I got good grades. We, huh? learned, we learned to study from school. And, well, we, had, we didn't need school. We could do it from home. Yeah, I guess so. And you got fans. Yeah, I got fans. No, no, I was kidding. You didn't get fans. Hey, hey, calm down. I think we should really end on a positive note right here. Positive. Positive, yeah. It was really positive this year. Positive! Positive! I won the best prize and who wore it better? Um, no, don't, don't Christian, no. don't Christian. What? Uh, I think you didn't win anything. What? And I put this dress and I shaved my legs and then I no. looked this pretty for, and I didn't win anything. No, the winner was Daniela. Yeah, Daniela! Yeah. But I looked 10,000 times better than her. You, you wore a dress for nothing, so I'm sorry. Oh, goodness, and these shoes are killing but, me. But we have a gift for you. Oh. Yes. Look. Whoa! Thank you! An appreciation diploma for inspiring us on everything. Wow, that's very special and yes. very, very handy now. Yes. I don't have to go to the supermarket to buy tons of toilet paper. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, my space. Okay. Well, folks, I think everyone here is glad that 2020 is ending. Yes, me, I am. But I think to end this on a positive note, it's very likely that we're going to be able to see each other in person next year. So we hope that everybody takes care of themselves and we hope that everyone enjoys their holidays and has a wonderful Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Bye. Have a nice ending of the year. Bye. Yay. Started on the most sensational, inspirational, celebrational, motivational.